Funky Podcast. Get off the loo. Get off your shoe. And listen up to me and Sean and Vaughn and Don and whatever. Whatever. The Funky Podcast. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funky Podcast. Welcome to the Funky Podcast. My name is Kieran. And my name is Sean. Welcome back to the Funky Podcast. Well, Sean, it's been ages. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, we were spo- I was going to do, like, a Christmas episode. I was mm. going to do, like, a Halloween episode. Emma, shut the fuck up. Look, <laughs> so, um, yeah, no. Uh, uh, I guess I'm okay today. How are you today? I'm also pretty okay today. Um, have you been up to anything lately since we last spoke? Uh, I've been on the college grind, so to speak. Mm-hmm. How is college? It's going quite well. Um, I would say I'm succeeding at it. That's fantastic, Sean. So, uh, I guess a question we're all wondering. Sean! What are we going to talk about today? Well, first off, before we get to the main topic at hand, I just want to give a little uh, shout out to something. So, on a previous episode... We talked about movies that we would like to see uh, be made. And uh, one thing that I suggest, an idea I'm still very, uh, very, very deeply passionate about, Avatar the Musical. And in this segment of Avatar the Musical, I suggested, you know, in jest, you know, I thought I'd throw that out there, it, throw that idea out there, you know, it wouldn't go anywhere probably, that The weekend should star in Avatar the Musical. And I thought, well, I'll put that thought to rest there. It, it won't come back. But then December rolls around. And who do I see rocking up in December to debut a bop for the Avatar 2 movie? But The weekend, Mr. James Cameron, I know you listened to the Funky Podcast. You, you took our idea. I, I demand partial... I demand I demand at least a small cut of that $2 billion, please. Mm, if yeah. you're listening to this. Yeah, no, he, he, he definitely mm. uh, listened in and stuff like that. Or you have similar minds and good music True. taste. Either I'm, way, I want my money. But uh, I will say, Sean, that song was a bop, honestly. It was a bop, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, assuming that he did listen in on us and has taken ideas, I'm very much looking forward to uh, next year uh, for uh, The Seed Bearer. And we will finally um, see Megan the Stallion drop some uh, drop some fire mm-hmm. for The Seed Bearer soundtrack. Yeah, so what are we actually talking about today, Sean? So today... Pretty topical. I feel like it's been topical for a while, but it's especially topical now because I see a lot of it uh, in the discourse, as they say. The discourse. Um, and that is the topic in uh, film, I guess, fandom, you could say, of uh, the fan cast. The fan cast. Like, f- fans casting, like, you know, like, cool air, like, cool breeze. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, fans casting as in fans of a thing coming up with a cast for a thing a cast of actors ah ah okay yeah so you know like there is a lot of it going on now i mean i think uh i feel like it was brought to the forefront in a big way with uh you know john krasinski and uh i mean i was gonna say spores but i feel like anyone that like is invested uh knows about already it's been nearly not in the early year, but it's like, it's been a well anyway since Doctor Strange 2 came out, Multiverse of Madness. John Krasinski, a popular fan cast for Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards himself, showed up to play Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic himself. Oh. And people were like, whoa, that's a thing people have wanted. Yeah, pe- and it, people, and it happened. yeah people in my cinema actually like were like, <gasps> when it happened. So yeah, no, it was definitely a big thing. Yeah. Uh, a big one as well was of Ahsoka. Uh, yes. People wanted Rosario Dawson very, very much so, mm. and 
congratulations, guys. You got it. And you, you know what? It. And you know what? She was pretty good, I will say. So Yeah. I I, I agree. And uh, you know, we may be we may be coming back to that point later as well. Okay. Um specifically on Ahsoka, but uh I wanna kick off and say since it's topical, the Fantastic Four fan cast we've been seeing a lot lately. So we got I mean, John Krasinski technically isn't one anymore since he's happened, but you know, there's there's a question, is he gonna be the main Reed Richards or is this just a fun mm-hmm. cameo? Cause um yeah. yeah. It's funny as well, because like I remember like when they you know, and like when he showed up in like Multiverse of Madness, I was thinking like, Oh man, they gotta announce like the full cast movie like any day now. It's gonna be like it's gonna happen like I don't know, D twenty three other stuff, yeah, other, yeah, other, yeah, other events yeah, happening. Yeah, it's no, gotta, I got you, I got you. It's gotta happen soon. Like you know that the clock is on now. They've like teased the idea of the Fantastic Four directly, but it's um. But yeah, then the only details we got later last year was um Kevin Feige saying like, oh, we're just now fi- we're just now scouting out who's gonna play them in the movie. So it's like, oh. Yeah, no, there is still that possibility though. That yeah. He could, so, uh, well, fingers crossed. But if they mm. actually do cast John. If it's not Emily, I'll be very un- yeah. un- unhappy. But it's you know. I mean, you know, it's very obvious, you know. It's like yeah. it's right there. Yeah. Um So yeah, you were saying about like Fantastic Four fan casts. Mm. Um uh did you wanna go on to who you would cast or was that just it? Well, my cast <laughs> get ready for this. So, playing our titular lead of Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. I can think of no one in the world better suited for this role. Absolutely no one better than Mr. Seth MacFarlane. Uh, okay, I'm just going to wrap this up. Thanks for listening to the Fun Key podcast, guys. <laughs> I'm going to get a new co-host. No, nah, no, nah, you might be thinking, Sean, you fucking dumbass. That's exactly what I'm thinking, Sean. Yes. What makes you think Seth MacFarlane could play Reed Richards? And I'm like, okay, it might sound a bit subversive, but like, just think about it. I, so, uh, what? moving on to Sue Storm. Uh, for, f- for fuck's sake. All right, go on, go on, go moving on. Moving on to Sue Storm. Sue Storm. So I think at this point in a popular culture, you know. Sue, Mary Sue Storm. <laughs> okay, the quartering. Um, <laughs> That's probably what it would be called if or, um if, if it was a certain, I, like, actress I was hated. It would be yeah, called no, that. No, That's no, like, like a thumbnail of one of his videos. Mary man. Sue Storm. And it's like, even if it's even... And he'll, like, he'll have to put a picture of... um. I have to put a picture of Brie Larson in there as well, even if it's not going to be oh, yeah, anything yeah, to do yeah, with her. Yeah. Going woke. But yeah, no, for Sue Storm, I think, you know, at this point in popular culture, the idea of a film journalist or a film critic is like, they can be in themselves very popular uh, stars almost in their own right. And to honor this, I feel like we should uh, let someone who has already starred in a major film make the jump from film journalism to major acting. And of course, I'm referring to Grace Randolph, everybody, beyond the trailer. <laughs> I think, you know, I think she's someone who, like, often has a lot of very subversive opinions on filmmaking. And I think, you know, she could use she could use that experience, like, with the role as well, because oftentimes it can feel like her opinions are invisible in the popular landscape. Well, thank you, Sean. <laughs> I appreciate, and I think that's a wonderful choice. Oh my goodness, Grace Randolph has summoned herself into the studio yeah. right now. <laughs> Hello, Grace. I'm I'm flattered you uh I'm flattered you appreciate my uh my uh, support for you. <laughs> oh, you're a beautiful lesbian. Okay, go on. Uh, what's what's the next one? Okay, so for Johnny Storm, you got the human torch. It's like we need someone who has like that fiery that like that really like fiery personality, that mm-hmm. like quick witted you know, like very quick witted humorous but also just a very fun guy who i think really needs to bring that energy to the role mm-hmm. and no one is better suited for that in my opinion than jack whitehall he's he's worked with disney already he's like co-star with the rock and uh the jungle cruise he's uh also been in clifford the big red dog the movie you know pretty banger movie i'd say i haven't seen it but like how can it not be good uh, he was in Bad Education the movie as well. You know what? Actually, genuinely good oh, movie. I, I thought that, I thought that was pretty good. Uh, all jokes aside, but yeah. Again, three, just smash hit motion picture roles, and I think if he just landed himself in the Fantastic Four, like the hype would just increase exponentially, just overnight. Now, and you might be thinking, 
Okay. But who are you going to get to play Ben Grimm? The Thing. Not John Carpenter is The Thing. That's The Thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Ben Grimm, The Thing from the Fantastic Four. And I think to keep up with the UK love, we were just showing with Jack Whitehall. We need another classic British institution to lend his talents to this. That's right, everyone. I am going to suggest Bradley Walsh, host of The Chase and star of Doctor Who and Coronation Street, as oh, Ben Grimm. For God's sake. Oh, my God. <laughs> What do you have to say to this, Kieran? <laughs> I'm floored. This sounds like a very interesting movie. It really does. I'm very yeah. intrigued. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, okay, this might shock some of you listening at home. I wasn't being 100% serious with that casting. Mm. But, um, yeah, no. So do I, who do I really want? Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm still pro-John Krasinski, honestly. Yeah, um, same. I'm pro Emily, same. I'm pro Emily Blunt. Um, same thing. Yeah, I mean, I know that's pretty basic. It's, uh, but yeah, I, I, th- th- that's who I would like to see in it. Um, yeah. Um, I, you were suggesting Ron Perlman to me at one point when we were having the conversation. Yeah, yeah, it was actually. Yeah, for a thing. Grimm. That's a really good choice, I think. Yeah, I agree. I've seen, um, I've seen, I've seen Brendan Fraser thrown around as well, which so like feels like that kind of feels like people just going on the hype train because of his comeback. But it's like, uh, I think no, that's actually a decent choice. It as well. could be because uh, especially yeah. his character in the DC show Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol. It's yeah. very kind of Ben Grimm esque, I suppose. Yeah. But yeah, and uh, who would you get as the fiery guy? <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, that one I'm kind of thinking of. Like I've seen a lot of people throw around Joe Carey. I don't okay. know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I can see it, but it's like, I don't know. But, um, yeah, who would I get for that? Uh, looking, I don't know, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah. Actually, that's, that's kind of decent. Yeah. So, my he, one. He's is, the one I struggle with the most, though. Yeah. Kind of, uh, yeah. No, I, I'd like, probably, like, I love that fan cast so much. Mm. Um, I would personally, like, I, I keep the three of them, mm-hmm. and as the Human Torch, I would get, you know, as, like, I guess with, like, Lava and stuff, mm-hmm. referencing the one and only Hayden Christensen. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah I, could, I, I could see it. I yeah, could see I think it. it'd I be cool. It. I, think it'd I be thought really you were cool. going to go Taylor Lautner for Shaq Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> oh, re- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. I mean, like, he could do it. I mean, like, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. no, that'd be cool. That'd mm. be cool. Um, so, yeah. There's, like, uh, so many, like, uh, mm. interesting stuff. Like, uh, there's Doctor Doom yeah. uh, thrown around and stuff. For the British one, the UK one that you were coming <laughs> up with, uh, I wonder who, like, Doctor Doom would be, like, I don't know, like, one of, like, Piers Morgan or whatever. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, or like Mary Berry, or like, Mary Berry. or like, what? Well, what's the guy from the Today Show or something? Maybe one of those ads. Uh, oh, um, oh, James Corden. J- uh, oh my God, that's <laughs> Doctor Doom. Um, hey, yo, um, I'm uh, I'm Doctor Doom. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here to destroy. I'm here to I'm here to destroy the Fantastic Four. Yeah, no, it's um, but honestly, I would get. My fan cast for Doctor Doom, it probably won't happen, but it would be Daniel Sharman from oh. uh, Curse, uh, the television show. Uh, he's been in other stuff too, but I would mostly go with him and probably Ben Burns as well, who mm. is uh, Prince Caspian in uh, Narnia. Yeah, And no. uh, he was also in Shadow and Bone as well. Uh, he's been in a couple of stuff. I think he'd be cool. So those but, are my choices. Yeah, I've seen the one that everyone seems to be throwing around. I don't know where it came from, but I do like, but the one that everyone throws around uh, that I've seen is Killian Murphy. Yeah, I've seen Killian Murphy and Adam Driver a lot. Yeah. Uh, Toronto and so. I've seen Adam Driver rumored to be playing Reed Richards. Like, I don't take rumors that seriously. And it's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean... It's, I like it. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I like him. Uh, he wouldn't be my first choice, but it's like, I would... If I heard he was playing Reed Richards or Doctor Doom, I would be... Yeah. I would be I would be there. Yeah. I'd yeah. be there, you know. Yeah. Um uh, just to let you guys know, like this isn't like this is just tro- us throwing our names and just yeah. having fun. It's not really like a serious thing. Yeah, we're I know not. a lot of people like uh hey X actor X role, but 
you know, this is just a bunch of fun. So we're it's, just having fun. It's with just this. some just some rough housing with the boys. Yeah, we're just mm. kind of throwing around names or whatever. This is yeah. Um, I don't even know who half the people I talk about are. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well, I uh, suggest and uh, move on to something. Yes. Fantastic Four. Take it away. Okay. Kira. So uh, there's a big popular franchise in Marvel that is uh, recently going to get rebooted and it's called X-Men. Now, we have uh, spoilers for Doctor Strange. We saw um, Professor Xavier um, briefly uh, played by Patrick Stewart once again. Now, uh, we're recently going to get uh, the new Wolverine back, but uh, I don't think it's going to be for very much. Um, so, we'll we'll see how that goes. Mm. But I think they're gonna like have new X Men uh, some somewhere down the line, and my choice to play Wolverine slash Logan is Timothy Chalamet. I think just if he grew out his beard and if he screamed with his white tank top, he doesn't really have to like go buff or anything. Because I feel like you know if he has slender arms, that's all right, man. Mm. That's all right. You know, do you like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty good, actually, yeah. Um, I mean, as I was saying, Timothy Chalamet. Big, big, uh, big Timothy Chalamet liker I am. Uh, we both are, I think. Yeah, but... Every time he shows up on my stream, I go like, oh. Yeah. I mean, cool. like, you know, if I was to have a proper choice or a second choice, it would be... I, I guess this is, like, my first... Well, I, I'll name two. Scott Eastwood. Mm-hmm. And Sam Worthington. Oh. I think, yeah, speaking of, like, Avatar and whatever. Yeah. But I think he'd be pretty good as Wolverine. I think he'd, he'd be able to do it. Plus, he's another Australian. And yeah. 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 I uh, love Australian people. It's got, it's, Australia's got to be one of the top ten countries for mm-hmm. people. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I was trying to, like, throw around names for, like, other uh, members of the team. Uh, like I, I really can't pick because it was so well cast before. Yeah. Um, I suppose like I would like go for like, um, you know, like Cyclops and stuff. I keep that comedic mm. element, but I wouldn't like cast an actual comedian. You know what I mean? Unless yeah. they're like more into like the serious part. Mm. Uh, but what I think, what I did think of for Storm was uh Reva from uh Obi Wan Kenobi uh, and Moses Ingram. Ingram. Yeah. Uh, I think she'd be a good storm. I agree. I think she'd be a great storm, probably. Yeah. Uh, I think she, uh, she, uh, she did a good job with Kenobi and Reva. Yeah, I think she was. She wasn't too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I liked her in that. I think. Uh, I think she has. She was a, also in the Queen's Gambit as well. She's of course, the Queen's that. Gambit. Yeah. yeah, she was very good in that. Um, uh, a lot. I saw like a lot of people uh, throwing out uh, Jean Carlo S. Posito, is that his name? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, there was a, like a lot of people throwing out that name for mm. Professor Xavier, um, which is interesting. It's an interesting choice, but I w- it wouldn't be my first. I think I don't know. Just like, a, I like how can you re- replace Patrick Stewart and James mm. McAvoy? Like, I don't know how you yeah. can do that. Very iconic, big big shoes to fill. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I'll just, I'll have to wait and see, I suppose, um, I, I can't really, like, though, like, Logan and uh, Storm are the only ones I can, like, cast at the moment, I can't really think of Mm. anyone that I would, like, sincerely go, yeah, they're that character, um, so, yeah. Uh, what, what do you think of X-Men? I'm a, I'm a, I, I also am a big fan of the um I I think I actually do like the idea of Giancarlo Esposito as uh Professor Xavier. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I mean it's different for him because like a lot of people like you know he typically just mainly plays like villain character as well. Not typically like that's what people know him for most. Yeah, like, he was know. uh he was George in the Maze Runner uh, Scorch Trails. Yeah. But, uh yeah no it'd be interesting to see him in like bald and kind of yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's um, I think he has what it takes, but it's also de- something you definitely think of a bit. Mm. No, what people would expect from him, and yeah. uh, I like that actually. Yeah, would it be interesting if they got Forrest Whitaker as um Magneto? Hmm, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, if they if they got Gene Carlo, yeah, I don't I know, or Lawrence Fishburne or something. I could see, I could, I could see them having good chemistry. Yeah, I think so. Just you know, really like change it up a little bit, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, for for Logan, 
again, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of not sure. Um, I'll say, I'll say one thing I don't want. What I don't want them to do is I don't want them to do, like, some, since, since Hugh Jackman is coming back, I don't want them to, like, do a multiverse thing and have him be, like, the Wolverine in the MCU. That's, yeah. like, no, no. I don't know about that. Because, like, I'm, I already have mixed feelings, kind of, on him coming back for Deadpool 3, so it's, like... Yeah, yeah, no, knowing, I, 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 I wouldn't want him to become, like, a mainstay from there, because I feel like... I feel like at that point, that does kind of cheapen Logan a bit. But yeah. I don't think they will do that, No, no, though, I, th- so. I think in Deadpool 3, it's just a fun little thing yeah. for him and Ryan, but, yeah. I've heard some people saying he might be in Secret Wars as well, but, like, I mean, I could see it happen, but, like, I feel like yeah. everyone, everyone's going to say everyone's going to be in Secret Wars, so it's, like... Yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. Jesus Christ himself will come back for a cameo in Secret Wars. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Mm. But yeah, uh, I've heard Daniel Radcliffe thrown around as well for a Oh Wolverine. yeah, that's that's an interesting That's uh, a pretty uh, unique, I think. Um, yeah. I don't know where it came from. I think it came from the fact that it's like he's one of the... Uh, I, get, he, I, I think a big power for a lot of people is just like he's short. Which is accurate to Wolverine's origins is a short dude, and it's mm. like you know, yeah, sure, why not? But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think he could do it. I think like you know, he's done like um, he's diversified his yeah work yeah, a lot no, in recent years. Yeah, no, he could years. do that. Yeah, yeah, he could. I think he has what it takes. Yeah, no, he could do that. He's done a lot of like character acting lately, mm-hmm. and I think he yeah, no, it'd know. be a good choice. Yeah, I would. I do agree. Um. Yeah, other than that, um, I am admittedly kind of drawing a blank on some other choices. Uh, yeah, it's really hard. Yeah. For Jean Grey, I've seen people talk about Sadie Sink, and it's like, mm. um, that feels uh, a bit typecasty for me, because I kind of feel like, kind of like the only thing I see with that is just like, because she's ginger and plays angsty characters and it's just like yeah yeah that feels a bit typecasty to me but it's like yeah i wouldn't be mad if i heard that or anything i think i think she's like very talented Mm -hmm. uh maybe as jean gray you know the girl from uh mortal engines oh yeah 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 i I think she'd be cool Mm. Uh, hira hilmer i think her name is hira hilmer good name hira i think it's called um yeah no she'd be cool as uh yeah um hmm, yeah it's a really really hard kind of thing to kind of fill out you know what i mean it's yeah. uh like they could even like go for like people we haven't even heard of who yeah and that's done. like that's obviously like another like that's kind of a fundamental issue you have with these kind of things is like oftentimes the people who give the best performances are not the people you would ever like have thought of and like yeah. sometimes they'll be like gener- like unknowns to the mainstream yeah, like yeah, by the time yeah, you yeah. take a like uh like that was the deal with Hugh Jackman. Like before, he, like became Wolverine, he was like mainly known. Like he did like theater, yeah, and did like rom com movies and everything. And it was like uh, him playing Wolverine. Nah. Yeah, same with Ben Affleck. Nah, a little bit. nah, same won't with, work. Yeah, then, same. Oh my god. Yeah. Iconic. Yeah. One of the most and, iconic. Uh, he's later like p- people were yeah, saying no, that. and Robert Pattinson and yeah. Robert Pattinson. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah. No, we'll um. We'll see what happens. I suppose. Mm. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. like it could even be like someone from coronation street like it could be like uh, one of yeah. those guys like it could it could happen man yeah it could you know you know with all the talk that's been going around about it i can see like a lot of people are kind of depressed about this so you know just to take the pressure off everyone's hands i i, I i'll i'll play wolverine i'll do it yeah, one guy actually said I could do it too. Actually, cause, uh, oh, really? like, I mean, I can see that. Yeah, no, some someone said it, I have like the the hair for it, and when I had the beard in October. True, yeah. true, yeah. Yeah, I think I remember. I think I remember. Didn't you say that like now you want to play Beast? Yeah, I did. <laughs> now Beast, Beast, I feel like would be a fun character to play. I really, I love Nicholas Holt as that character. Yeah. I think it's really cool. Um, so yeah, that's basically mm. like the final thoughts on like. The X Men yeah. side, anyway. Um, do you have any other uh, things you'd like to cast? Well, coming back to this, um, to my side of the court, uh, as you know, uh, Ryan Gosling is an actor. He is. He is an actor. Okay. Okay. We've stopped already. And uh, I've seen this thrown around, like, this is the first time, you know, 
we're fan casting for a biopic actually which is a very unique um a very uh i would say like yeah definitely like a much uh much different kind of subject to fan cast character because like you know you got to honor an actual person now as well and i've seen a lot of people who really think ryan gosling has what it takes has all the chops has all the capabilities to play former u.s president barack obama in a barack obama biopic now huh. okay you might be you might be looking at me thinking okay john you, you you've lost me now like do, do you realize what like what you're what you're what you're saying here there's like okay there's like a fundamental difference between ryan gosling and barack obama that would make this depiction like genuinely like shockingly offensive ryan gosling is of course a canadian actor and a Canadian actor should not portray a U.S. president. Now, I've, I've, I've thought on this a while, and I understand why a lot of people don't... Like, I get I get there's some apprehension towards a Canadian actor playing a popular American character. Like, I'm... Full of like, it's only, like, in recent years me even coming to terms with the fact that Canada is a real country. Like, for the longest time, like, I was fully convinced it was just, like, some inside joke with everything, with everyone. Like, I was hearing people say, like, Oh yeah, I've been to Canada. Or, like I'm from Canada. I'd be just like, oh, that's a good one. That's good. One. Like I, I generally like thought I thought it was a meme. I thought it was a meme. But despite that, I think when you look at the great when you look at the great history of like Canadian actors playing non-Canadian roles, it seems to me like we would be depriving ourselves of some something really special by saying that Ryan Gosling cannot portray a U.S. president. Like, think about it. Think about Jim Carrey as Doctor Eggman. Dr. Eggman, not a Canadian. But Jim Carrey, like, he, he brought life. He brought so much life to Dr. Eggman. That, and I, I feel like, would you want would you want to be deprived of that? Think about it as well. Avril Lavigne and Over the Hedge is Heather. The opossum, an American opossum. Would you want, would you, would, do you think she should not voice that character? Despite, like, all the acclaim she has received for it? She was perfect as Heather. Sean. Exactly. Exactly. And, of course, who could forget one of the great icons of Scotland, Shrek, portrayed by Mike Myers, a Canadian. I think even any Scotsman would agree they could not bring to justice that depiction the way Mike Myers could. And I ask this question to you, the audience. What is the difference between Barack Obama... And Dr. Eggman, Heather from Over the Hedge, and Shrek. Thank you, everyone. Well, that was very, very um, interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I would get Zoe Zaldana as Barack Obama. Oh, and that's a very good pick as well. I mean, like, you know, it can, like, you, you know, there was, like, an Elton John biopic where he was played by, like, Kate Blanchett or something, and, like, one... Uh, segment or whatever. I think it was the Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, Bob sorry. D- Bob Dylan, Apologies. Yeah. Um, so yeah, why, why not get Zoe Saldana? I agree, I agree. Plus, like, the only reason, like, she's very good and stuff, but the only reason is because whenever you put her in a movie, for some reason it elevates said movie. Yeah. Because if you look at the greatest movies on, like, box office money-wise, she's in those movies so. yeah four in four movies that cross two billion like she is she is like she is clearly like she's like the secret ingredient to making a smash hit exactly and it if didn't you work with amsterdam but <laughs> we can look past that i didn't work with crossroads with britney mm-hmm. spears but you know it's um this like I, I think the problem was they didn't use that much of zoe but exactly if you put zoe miss saldana as Barack Obama, it would make all the money in the world. And I think, once again, I hate to keep bringing this guy up, but he's just so perfect for everything. we got to get Timothy Chalamet in there alongside Zoe Saldana as Michelle. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, like, just think about it. Like, they're identical in, like, That's personality true. and That's everything in yeah. terms of talents, you know. Yeah. It, it just makes so much sense to me. Yeah. I would then get it directed by... Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott. Wow. Bringing his House of Gucci type of energy to this, I think. Yes. Yeah. We have we have a classic on our hands yeah. here. Yeah, it's perfect. I mean, it's, it's flawless. It's flawless. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Austin Butler is Donald Trump. Oh that? my goodness! Of course, of course. And uh, I mean, like, and I, I think, I think you know, it'd be great if we could get Sigourney Weaver in there as Joe Biden. Yes, and Just complete the Trinity. Yeah, and Sofia Vergara as Hillary Clinton. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's just perfect, man. We're like really diverse in yeah. our casting. You know, and it could be like a big, like, you know, all these like biopics. You know, it's usually like mm. either a black and white image and like them like looking down or whatever. Yeah. Or uh, it's like white background, like you know, like the Mandela movie. Yeah. Or whatever, or like you know. The Iron Lady, which I thought was like a sequel to Iron Man or like a Marvel movie, because it was on yeah. Disney Plus, but it turns out it was a Margaret Thatcher biopic. Yeah. Um, it was my mistake. I was kind of wait, waiting for the action, but it was mm. it opens with an old lady in a shop buying milk. Um, I, I was so disappointed. Anyway, so you know it could be in the style of like Meet the Fockers, you know, where they're like all like smiling you know like the sitcom yeah. style it could be all them um, like you know like meet the obamas or like meet you the know obamas, yeah, yeah. Like, i think barack's whole like message uh throughout his career has been to uh instead of looking down against a white background mm-hmm. has been to look forward yeah. and upwards to a brighter future yeah and it, it turns out that in the movie that he got his idea for bob the builder yes we can from bob the builder and it was yes we can yeah that they, they do like a whole dramatic scene of it like he takes a holiday to the to the united kingdom mm-hmm. to fucking london and he and he sees bob the builder on the television and he hears bob the builder say like yes we can and it's just like in that moment the orchestral music begins to swell he rises up out of his seat he takes off his glasses and he just says my god i think it would be something to behold yeah absolutely yeah and uh obama's daughter is played by Lawrence fishburne i agree Lawrence fishburne should be in every movie honestly he sh- he w- he should yeah like the other day i was um like i was checking out the citizen kane thing i've heard it's a uh, kind of an underground kind of classic and i was thinking like you know it's it's okay like it's fine but it's just like you put Lawrence Fishburne in every scene of the movie, and I think like that. I think that would have like perfected it. Yeah. It just like it felt slightly off because he wasn't in it. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't know. Can I like can I watch a movie that doesn't have him in it? And it's just like mm-hmm. you know, that's my that's my thoughts. Yeah. On imagine it, him in like Pulp Fiction, right? And it's like yeah. Sam Jackson doing the scene, but like imagine if like Lawrence was just like standing in the background or something, just like watching it. Yeah. I think um I think yeah, it would have improved if like after every scene where someone gets shot, Lawrence Fishburne just like walks in the room awkwardly and says like, Whoa Well that just happened. Yeah. It it would be perfect, you mm. know? Perfect, yeah. Um so yeah, that's probably our thoughts on Obama anyway. Yeah. Uh the next one I would like to talk about Despicable Me. Oh yeah. Um so you're familiar with Despicable Me, it's a movie a yeah. very uh, popular animated uh, franchise. Now, to be honest, uh, we hate a lot of like live action adaptations, uh, mm. but uh, this this adaptation that um, I have in my mind is to save a lot of money and to also bring entertainment closer to our hearts without getting us out of the house, and it will go straight to YouTube. Yeah. And it will have the budget of a packet of crisps because the uh, person that... Well, a packet of crisps for me, but he can do all the work because uh, it's kind of a pitch to uh, Rob Burney, who is Cinematic Venom. And I would like Cinematic Venom Rob uh, as Gru and for his family to be the other people. The minions or the orphans? I will... I have it written down. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Cohen prepared. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Mm. Rob is a mate, I suppose. Uh, Yeah. So, this is for him. So, the scientist, I would like to get Jimmy, his friend, just because Jimmy's, like, really um, smart and stuff. Um, I would get, as the minions, I would get Eric, who is Rob's son, and... Uh, as either another minion or his stunt double, 
I would get since he's probably very tall is Eddie from Callum's Corner. Uh, Eddie is uh, Callum's nephew. Shout so, out Callum's Corner. Yeah, and shout out to Eddie, obviously. Shout out to Eddie. Yeah. The man. Yeah. Uh, uh, I would get Rob's uh, daughter, Alice, as the youngest... Um, as the youngest girl but i i don't know who i'd get as the other daughters to be honest hmm. um we'll find some girl somewhere in a school or whatever yeah well, uh, that sounds so bad <laughs> no i i no 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 i don't mean it that way i mean well well hell auditions or whatever yeah 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 jesus don't clip that <laughs> please i didn't mean it that way i risked my case um as hector i would get the only like proper like person uh who's like a big name and that's paul dano yeah uh because it's perfect man and as el macho i would get steven seagal's stunt double i don't know not actual steven but you know someone that kind of looks like him or whatever um oh and i get mads mickelson as a an evil villain like the Ooh. overlord like and uh like i was gonna have uh, Simone Salvatore, who's like another YouTuber who works alongside uh, Rob a lot, but Simone's sexy as fuck, and like he's a really sexy, con- like he's so like he's too good looking to be El Macho, and that's kind of a bit of um, a bit of an L to him. So I would like him as uh, maybe like uh, the second in command to Matt Mickelson because oh, you know wow. he can he can do that. And I also get Jimmy Carr and maybe like Ben Shapiro in there too. Um, I can, as like, I can imagine Ben Shapiro kind of bringing a vector energy to things. Yeah, but like him and Jimmy Carr have like this double thing where they're like giving out about everything and like Simone's like mm. the main kind of person in, uh, who's like Mads' favorite and then those other two are just kind of giving out about everything. So. Yeah, it seems like you're adding to this Pickle Me lore here. These are like a lot of new characters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, this is like, uh, you this, know, this like... This is an expansion to the universe. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's a, it's a live-action remake, but also adding in... It's not like The Lion King. You it's know a new I mean? timeline almost. Yeah. Uh, Herb Overkill can probably be Will Walker and the other people from uh, Cinematic Venom can have cameos throughout and uh, Callum's Corner and Tom Stockdale can appear in like a post credit scene or something yeah so yeah that that's um, it's straight to YouTube uh, shitty costumes uh, bought on Amazon and uh, yeah well, uh, it should be about, mm, about about three hours three hours yeah um, not four okay not four. No, 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 not four. Uh, no, that those are deleted scenes. You can watch them. Oh. They're an hour long. So, yeah. I don't know. It was just, um, I guess, uh, cut for timing. And, uh, you know, they, yeah. were, they were so hard to cut. You know what I mean? But they were just so funny. Like, it was such funny improv from, you know, Rob in his pajamas and the grew outfit. And just, you know, he already is bald. So it's all good. But, exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, what what's your thoughts on is this big one me film? Now I like what you're going here a lot, but I have my own takes on who should play Gru and Vector. Now for Gru, I've seen this. This has been a big thing within his fan base before. Other other comedians have poked fun at him many a time for this, but I think you know it could only be Darrow Brian, acclaimed Irish comedian, star of Muck the Week, Live the Apollo, all those all those shows. He's got his own very successful stand-up career. People, a lot of people believe he looks exactly like Gru. He has he has he has disputed this himself, but we know he's just in denial. He's just in denial. I think he I think he brings like this chaotic energy to the character that uh I think matches matches the character a lot. Uh this very uh you know kinda smart but also like very uh like smart and stupid also very charismatic. I think he brings all that to the table. I think he captures it perfectly. Alongside him as Vector, I think Again, another comparison I see many people draw to with the musician Oliver Tree. He's got like he's got the haircut, he's got the fashion sense, he's got he's got he's got the the maniacal energy, I think. Just seeing him and Darrow Green just like having it out there on the big screen, I think it would uh it would tickle my bussy very hard. Mm-hmm. Lovely. <laughs> and as the minions we all there. There is one guy out there. If there is one guy out there who knows what it's like to portray an entire species of people in a film, 
It's him. It's got to be Tamura Morrison. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, that that sounds fantastic. Honestly, mm. I like that. Um, yeah, it's, like would it would it still be his voice? Like, oh yeah, but it's still like it's all the minion kind of gibberish stuff. But it's like him voicing it proper seriously. It's like <laughs> he just like be going into he just like he goes into the studio like his work day consists of him just like going into the booth like getting all the equipment ready and just like <laughs> laying it dramatically and just saying banana. And that's his whole work day. He just leaves. <laughs> That'd be great. It would be. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, like, there's so many, like, different, like, fan casts out there and stuff like that for different things. Um, yeah. Like, that's, that's a really, really interesting kind of take to take to speak for me anyway. Um... Yeah, so I suppose like uh, then we talked about Fantastic Four, we talked about X Men, but we're gonna move over to DC, I suppose. Yeah. Um, Mister James Gunn has and Peter have decided that uh we're gonna restart everything yeah. and start from scratch. And it's been a lot of disputes here. Is it like gonna be like fully from scratch? Is like is is Jason Momoa staying? Is like is who staying is like anyone staying yeah. it's like it's all very uh very up in the air right now but yeah uh, you know, like clarification we, will come well in the I, I th- yeah i think it's an interesting i don't know i don't know what to think we'll just have to wait and see what he has in mind but i i've seen thrown around a lot of people that are trying to fan cast uh the justice league and even like us, uh, when we briefly spoke about it after the news mm. broke, we like we were like scratching our heads, like, but who, who can possibly take up the mantle to limit this power? So we will uh, throw out a few names here and there. So, as Superman, Clark Kent. Now he was recently in Top Gun Maverick. No, not Tom Cruise, but he was rich. Re- recently in Top Gun Maverick, and he was also a uh, part of Marvel in some way, shape, or form. That he probably. Uh, I would say uh, he would like to forget that happened. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he had fun, but maybe. maybe I don't know. I don't know a lot about that set. I just know that the movie to me was uh unsatisfying in the terms of the way it was presented but i didn't think he was bad i thought he was okay uh he's very good uh, and all of his uh work he does and it's mr miles teller yes i would cast miles teller as superman because i believe he has the chops i think he has the right charisma i think he has uh if i was to look up in the sky and i saw like a red cape like flowing down and the you know, man kind of reaching out his hand to me, the hand of basically is the symbolism of God. Um, there's a lot of that in Man of Steel and like the biblical sort of vibe. Yeah. And if it was Miles Teller's face uh, and it was him, uh, I mean, I don't see Miles Teller, I see Superman, so. Yeah, exactly. I would, um, I w- that is the type of face I would want, you know, when <laughs> after a long day. <laughs> After a long day, I've just been, like, grinding. <laughs> I just, like... And I'm just, like, feeling really down. Like, not sure I'm going. His is the face I would like to see, like, going down with a red cape and reaching out. And I would, feel, I would feel inspired after that to keep going forward. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I've seen... Okay, a lot of people... Uh, see, ah, uh, this, this one I struggle with as well because it's, like, I'm not sure with a lot like I'll admit, a lot of like the big fan cast for like uh, the justice league that i'm seeing i don't i don't really like them but miles teller is one i've seen that i do actually really like yeah i think he just fit it really well and he's really fit you see him in like yeah i didn't see the movie yet but i saw like brief clips and like man like he has a body <laughs> I, he's in the uh the volleyball scene isn't he yeah i i, I do know i i have heard uh, a lot of hype about that volleyball scene yeah God above, we're talking about children. Now we're talking about okay. Um, yeah. this so is a, this is a, this is a very horny episode today. 
just we'll try and keep it low. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thirteen. Yeah. No, we don't mean it that way, Mister Teller. We we just mean you're lovely in yeah. every way. Um. Yeah, I don't know. He's just not not only like the look, but he also like has a lot of uh, acting that he can play like also the underacting like the mm. the way you do not act as superman like the way you kind of like go really serious and really stale and not kind of go over the top yeah. and stuff like that he has like the clark kent side down which is more subtle you know more understated he has that yeah no he could do that like a lot of like the henry stuff people uh like you look in his eyes when he's playing superman and like you know he kind of plays it really well even the oh what's the guy from returns brandon ruth yeah brandon ruth yeah he um like even him like he can he has that look where it's like yo like uh i'm here to save everyone and like obviously mr reeve um the late christopher reeve like i mean like miles could do that very well i think he'd do a very very good job and I think he has the height for it, he has the build, and mm. yeah, just literally give him the cape right now, and I believe it. Like you know, yeah, no, I I, I agree. He's um he's 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 at this moment he's my number one choice as well. Yeah. Um. I know. Uh, I know. There is that um, that J.J. Abrams Superman as well. That's maybe still happening. But I have no knows? idea about that. With uh, I, with Michael B. Jordan as uh, Superman. I like that idea. I think he'd yeah. be really cool, but. Oh my god, <laughs> Fantastic Four! No, oh, yeah, I, yeah, it's a Fantastic Four reunion. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. Um, if that happens, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I don't know. I, I just yeah. think Miles would be the number one mm-hmm. choice, and not because he's a popular actor and he's good looking. Uh, it's because I, I believe, I, I just believe that actor could do it. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I, I think he has the face for that. Um. It's a lot of love for Cursed right now, but for Batman, I would get Daniel Sherman uh, from Cursed, uh, who played the Weeping Monk once once again himself. Uh, I I just think this guy's great. I I really I really think uh, he's been underlooked. I think that he should have been one of the next big things, especially when you watch Cursed and all of that and how. Um, I I suppose it was like. I don't th- I don't think it's as popular as uh, people wanted it to be, which is a shame, because there are like elements of it, and especially Daniel's performance uh, of it that is really really amazing. Uh, even though he like he's very subtle, very stale, but just like Batman is very subtle and very stale, especially yeah. in the. It reminds me of a lot of the Robert Pattinson uh, Batman a lot. He could play like a version of that. But like in his own way, kind of bring elements of the animated series as well into his performance. Um, yeah, I I just think he has the look for that. I'm sure he'd be a very very good Bruce Wayne as well if you actually gave him the stuff. I I think he could have. He has a really big build. He has that kind of look that screams Bruce Wayne to me. So yeah, I think he'd be pretty good. Yeah, no, uh, that's that's a pretty solid choice. I think yeah. I I don't know for me who I'd get to play Batman. It's um. Yeah, I'm not really entirely uh not really entirely sure, um honestly. And, like it could change as well depending on if they're gonna like younger or older Batman. Um. You know I think like that like, the type I think, you know that would that would that would influence definitely like who I'd pick. But yeah um I've heard Jensen Ackles thrown out around mm-hmm. um yeah from Supernatural from uh the boys recently as well um. Yeah. I think he looks the part. I think. Yeah, um, I, I also heard Nicholas Holt, which pretty good, pretty good. It's pretty good, but I don't know. Like, it's weird having like a really. I think he 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 just feels too young. Mm. I don't know. I know Warm Bodies was a couple of years ago, but like, what are you laughing at? I mean, I, mean, I, I feel like it's been more than a couple of years ago, though. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I think it's like it's a good few. I mean, it's a good few years old. <laughs> Warm Bodies. Yeah. How old is it? I was I was thinking about like twenty fourteen, maybe even twenty fifteen. Okay, yeah. No, I I know it was like a few years ago, but I just um, I think Nick like could do it. Um, I I just feel like he's still 
young. I don't know. I just think he's one, of the, young. he's one of those guys like like Dana Hannah. Like he always just like looks like a yeah. child. Yeah, yeah. But, like that fucked me up so much the day I found out that like Dana Han like has a son. It's like, bro, he he looks. He has four- a daughter he, as well. He looks fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play to him. Yeah, know. good for him. C- c- congrats on the children. <laughs> if you're if you're watching this. <laughs> oh man, I love him. We should have him on the Funky Podcast. Come we on, Dane. We should. We should. Come on, Dane. Talk we're to like, us about Harry. Harry Osborne. Like, we no, missed we are, you. We missed you in a way home. Why we weren't like you in it? We're like the two of us. We're like the two, like, Valerian, Save a Thousand Planet stands on the planet. Like, bro, we want to talk to you about that movie. Like, come yeah, on. I want to talk to you and Kara and pitch you my sequel. Yeah. Honestly. Ah, oh, God bless Kara. I know she's going through a lot right yeah. now. Anyway. Um, yeah, I miss... I, I don't know. I, I hope she's okay. I, yeah. Anyway. Back to topic. Sorry. Well, we'll do another one on that. Um, maybe a whole podcast. Just I don't know. Anyway, we're still talking about Batman, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Um. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other choices? Uh, ch- any other choices? I don't know. I don't. Re- I can't really. No one's coming to mind right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard Wonder Woman, um, again, not sure what Wonder Woman either. Like, I've heard Anna de Armas thrown out as a suggestion. And Anna like, de Armas. Anna uh, de Armas, yeah, um, from, you know, Knives Out and uh, most recently yeah, Bond. For, yeah, uh, Bond, for, yeah. For, 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 yeah, but, yeah. But, yeah, um, I don't know, it's like, I can't even, like, really put my finger on, like, why, but just, like, something something doesn't feel entirely right about that. Yeah, I get you, I get you. Like, uh, it, it feels kind of off. Yeah. Um... Yeah, no, it's a really, really tough one. Like, I'm even, like, thinking of, like, actresses that I, like, know of and this and that. And I'm, like, looking uh, and I I just can't pick. Uh, Some either are too young or some are too old. Uh, One, like, I I can't pick Connor Leslie because she was already Wonder Girl. And it would just be confusing hmm. uh, in the Titans show. But she was great as that. Yeah. So obviously, and like, Connor Leslie wasn't in like much before that, uh, as far as I know. And like, like she was in like Scorsese's Daughters um, movie or something. Oh. Uh, but like, you know, so they, they picked a, like a really good cast out of someone that wasn't in much. So. They could do that with Wonder Woman again, mm. uh, which I I would prefer them to do that. But if I had to pick one that I'd actually go, ah, oh, you know what, that's freaking cool. Would be uh, J- Jamie Alexander. Yeah, yeah, Jamie Alexander. I think is definitely one of the uh, better choices out there. It's like the only choice I can mm. like see that could be proper. To be honest, uh, unless it was like they go like full. Uh, weird and just get Camilla Cabello or something. <laughs> My God. Or uh, what was it? Uh, Vanessa Hudgens. Vanessa Hudgens, geez. Just keeping with like the Robert Pattinson thing, like you know, yeah, Vanessa yeah. Hudgens. And then uh, they they remake Troy, um, the Brad Pitt movie, mm-hmm. but like they get Zac Efron and people are like making like Troy Bolton memes. Oh wow. Yeah, <laughs> I I don't know. I, anyway. Uh, should we get like Aquaman or should we leave him in the water? Uh, no, I think I think we can we can, I I, I yeah again Aquaman's another one where it's uh yeah a bit I don't know, I don't know um, yeah. Liam Hemsworth. <laughs> Liam Hemsworth, God um. I mean eh, I mean I could kind of see it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe actually get Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Sure, why not? You know, he's like direct, done directing, done music. T- why can't he do some acting, you know? Yeah. Rob Zombie for Aquaman. Yeah. Make uh, it happen. Yeah. It's perfect. Uh, exactly. I would also maybe think about... Uh, as the Flash, Dane DeHaan is like my one choice. To be honest, I can imagine it. I can imagine it. Yeah. Or you know, what? Austin Butler would be a pretty good Aquaman. I don't know if he's young, but mm. I've seen a lot of people suggesting Austin Butler for Green Arrow. 
Oh yeah, he'd be good as that too. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm. Um. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, no, it's really interesting. All the kind of different sort of stuff that could happen. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, for some like for someone for some people like typically outside the usual Justice League lineup, I mean, um, <laughs> like I know there, there's um, I've seen like a lot of people saying they were they really they want Jenna Ortega to play Raven. You know, I, I can actually see it. I can totally see it. I mean, it feels like feels like kind of obvious after Wednesday, but it's like I think I think I think they're actually pretty different enough characters. It wouldn't come off like. Typecasting I guess or so. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I mean, pretty I, different I characters. Think I think, right. yeah, I think, I think she'd cool. do great. I mean, you know, she's she has yet to be bad in anything that I've seen. Mm. She's uh, yeah, yeah. She's, she seems to be dropping like bangers left and right here. Yeah. Uh, from the looks of things. Yeah. Very much looking forward to her in uh, Scream Six. Oh. Yeah. So um, I I think she could do it. I think she could do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that'd be cool. Uh, as Nightwing, uh, Dylan O'Brien. I can see it. I can yeah. see it. Uh, there's so much fan cast for that and it's yeah so much sick art honestly so cool uh honestly Dylan O'Brien for that yeah really sick like he was my choice for Spider-Man and Anton Yelchin was before he passed on but yeah it'd be cool um Dylan O'Brien as Nightwing that'd be my yeah, one choice no, totally um I've seen I've seen a good few for uh, for Plastic Man Oh really? I've seen uh, I've seen Andy Samberg thrown out for Plastic Man. I've seen oh, that'd be cool. I've seen Ben Schwartz as well. I think like I think I think they oh, could yeah, both be really yeah, good. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, I'm not gonna lie. Like if I if I found out tomorrow like Plastic Man is gonna be a big part of this like upcoming like the slate, I'd be like, I'd be just like all in at that point. Like bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be sick. I'm I I will I will be showing up day one for any and all Plastic Man content. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I would get as Lex Luthor, Will Ferrell. I could actually genuinely see that. I feel like um, when you look back at uh, Gene Wilder in the uh, in the uh, Reeves and Donner movies, like I think I actually kind of think he uh, could bring a similar energy to that. Uh, Hackman. You said Gene Wilder. I. Uh... <laughs> It's not good. Uh, <laughs> no, it's Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman. Uh, yeah, Gene like Hackman. Luther, I love Gene Hackman. Gene, Gene Wilder was Big with Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman. Love Gene Hackman. Uh, such a big fan of Gene Hackman. Uh, when he played Lex Luthor, played by Gene Hackman, you know. Uh, I think, yeah, I, could, I think he could bring a similar vibe to that. Yeah. Or John C. Reilly could be cool. Oh, too. yeah, yeah, John C. Reilly. Yeah. Or uh, what if it's, like, John C. Reilly as uh, Lex and then, like, Will Farrell as uh, the guy, like... Jimmy Olsen or Jimmy not, not not Jimmy Olsen but like the guy like screaming can't can't yeah that's just like that's his only line in the movie you know like the where where does he go yeah you know, the guy in the Daily yeah, Planet yeah yeah, yeah 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 I thought uh, I remember talking about this before and I jokingly threw out suggestion like oh Josh Peck should play Superman easy I, I, I threw it there as a joke but then I thought about it and I think you know what Josh Peck actually would be kind of a good Jimmy Olsen I he think. actually no genuinely yeah. if that happened I'd be sick I, I'd be up for it yeah. yeah um yeah Josh Peck yeah uh not Miranda Cosgrove as Wonder Woman no Jesus Christ no. people suggested that that's so funny yeah I, I don't know um oh, man. she'd be okay as Raven I could actually see that like think... genuinely if they made it serious like you know. i think miranda cosgrove should play dark side <laughs> i'd get um david deloise uh you know the dad from wizards of waverly plays yes. as dark side <laughs> oh my god alex <laughs> alex <laughs> uh acclaimed star of wizards of waverly place and also uh vampires suck was he in that? He was in like one scene, yeah. Oh, uh, my man, like. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know the silent episodes of Wizards of Waverly Place where it's like a silent movie where it turns into that? Yeah. And like, it's him like it's walking. It's just like in Buffy. Um, and it's in like black and white. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, there's like a bit where like he's walking by with the, the, like, the really long sandwich and like. 
He's like, it's him carrying it on the other side as well. That was so fucking funny. That's a, that's a peak example, I think, of visual comedy. I mean, like... It should be studied. I mean, like, to be fair, man, like, he's great in that yeah. show. He made that, like, mm. honestly. Nah, he could. He could play it. He could play Dark Side easily. Totally, totally. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'd probably get like um, I'd like I'd mix it up a little bit. I get like Ming Na Wen as a villain in like the new Justice League. Oh yeah, League. yeah, no, she could uh, she could do uh, some really good stuff with that. Yeah, or like I don't know, I I'd like kind of expand the world, and I I'd actually like create more kind of uh, different like villains that weren't necessarily comic comicy, and like it can be like different people with different powers and like really like make it mm. kind of cool i just hope that uh james has some really cool ideas yeah. um, james yeah. as we all know james at one point in time read a tweet that you made and uh, responded to part of a conversation that you're in so it's like i want to believe that like the man who would read your tweet i want to believe like he has the best intentions for this and will make the right choices maybe he like saw in my heart and knew that i wanted miles teller and oh he's my like, God. you know what, I'm going to do it for this young guy who once tweeted me something very nice. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I've seen like for, I've seen some for uh, Zatanna seems to be another character. It's like kind of like... I saw a Zendaya for that. I could see that. Yeah. Um, I remember for, I remember it was rumored. I don't know if like there was anything like going for the rumor, but like it was rumored like they were looking for Dua Lipa. I don't oh, think really? Dua Lipa's done any acting before. I don't think but, I so. Mean, I don't think so. I'd be intrigued. Mm. Yeah, that could be interesting. Uh, I think Mary Elizabeth Winstead could be a good um, Zatanna if she wasn't already like Huntress and Birds of Prey. Yeah, yeah, no, I, c- I could see that. Um, mm, yeah, no, I'm gonna like piss the quoting off. I'm gonna say as wonder woman uh phoebe waller bridge oh yeah no she um yeah no she's one of the new people they all hate now yeah uh, i mean i think it's i think it's a solid enough choice um <laughs> i think you know i think uh you know just i think you know just like you suppose up the fan a lot more you know <laughs> superman chris evans wonder woman brie larson and a wonder woman no uh Green Lantern, Brie Larson, <laughs> Phoebe Waller Bridge can be uh, can be Wonder Woman then. Um, as Batman, you know, uh, I think it would have to be. It would have to be <laughs> Ryan, John- jo- Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson, yeah, absolutely, Ryan Johnson. Uh, as Aquaman, John Boyega. Yeah. As a. Uh, as a Sapphire, Daisy Ridley, you know. Oh, uh... Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, oh my there goodness! Well. Yes, yes, yes! Yeah. Fantastic. Um. Oh god, we could like talk about these fuckers all day. Like honestly, yep. we we're doing uh, a podcast soon called Twenty Twenty Twats. These 20, fuckers. Twenty Twats. The, these fuckers that these spasmoids that roam around planet Earth, yeah. and we're gonna like, diss them. They so. get up to some very uh, not nice behavior. In the discourse, right? Oh, mighty, like not not just in the entertainment world, but like in general. What was it like? I I don't know. Well, well, we'll stay on this topic. Mm, yeah, that will on. come another day. Yeah, hopefully. Mm. Um, but um, yeah, we're mm. around anyway. Uh, oh yeah, weren't you gonna cast like the Star Wars animated stuff as well? Yeah, yeah, that too, that too. Um, yeah, I was thinking, you know, Ahsoka. As we mentioned earlier, the Ahsoka show is coming quite soon uh, mm-hmm. this year. Yeah. After Mandalorian season three, which uh, we uh, I am quite buzzing. For yeah. That. Oh man, no, I'm really looking forward to that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, some like it's gonna be fr- it's tied pretty heavily to Rebels. I know. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna perhaps make a confession here. Uh, that some of you may be like, no, how could you? I have not seen Rebels yet. I have neither despite, so despite the fact like I grew up loving the Clone Wars and everything and like I'm a big I'm a big Clone Wars guy. Never actually saw Rebels though. Um, I never saw Clone Wars or Rebels, so I'm okay. Yeah. But I know um yeah, Rebels is pretty heavily tied to the new Ahsoka show that's on the horizon. Mm-hmm. Um 
I know Mary Elizabeth Winstead. I think it's been confirmed, but yeah, it's been confirmed she's in it. But it's uh, as who is like a mystery, and I know um, a lot of people like say she wants. Uh, a lot of people like are assuming, and like they're probably right that she'll be playing Hera from Rebels, who I know is a uh, the or as I like to call her a uh, green woman. Okay. Green woman from Rebels. Yeah. From Twilight. Um, I think it's quite good. I mean, you know, I'll say like. I think you and Gregory even said something about it. it's like oh I, I'm, I'm trying to he, he, even he was like on Instagram like trying to be like oh yeah we met me and the white my wife and Dini and the, I'm trying to do a Scottish accent um <laughs> <laughs> my wife and all you are, are in the Star Wars <laughs> this bit has failed um <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no even he was like on his yeah, he was like on Instagram so like something like oh we're both in the Star Wars now like. Maybe our son's probably gonna find his way into it at some point, you know. And it's just like, oh, that's that's very. Wholesome. His daughter was in it. Yeah, his daughter. Actually, yeah, oh, yeah. She was in Obi Wan. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah geez. Okay, now he's like, okay, the whole fat, the whole McGregor family is gonna find their way into some into it somehow. Yeah, and his uncle was in it as well in the original was movie. He? Yeah, the original oh, movie. That was Dennis Lawson. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's his uncle. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, whole family, whole whole family is gonna find their yeah, way yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we'll see Hayden's daughter in it soon. Ah, oh, yeah. that'd be that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I know she's um Yeah, anyway, get back to uh Green Woman. Uh, Green Woman, yeah, Hera. Uh Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Mary Elizabeth probably. Winstead, yeah. Yeah. That's I think pretty cool. Um Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Very underrated, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh in general. I think she's a, a a big talent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I uh I like I like a lot of what she uh is doing and has done. Yeah, yeah. I am uh yeah, <laughs> big fan of uh, her. Is uh, yeah, big looking forward to seeing as her as an more. actress. Yeah, an actress, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I was, mm. uh, speaking of like uh, Star Wars characters to cast, I would get uh, as Ezra, not Ezra Miller. No, uh, no, no. I used uh, to, you know, I used to, it's a funny story. I used to, like, when I was like, I used to get Miles Teller and Ezra Miller mixed up for some reason, and yeah, uh, they, all I can say now is, um. I will not be making that mistake ever again. <laughs> How did you get them mixed up? I I guess, I I, I Teller Miller I guess is like where I was coming from. Like I don't know. Oh, wow. they're not really like similar at all. Yeah, I don't know. Well, God above. Um. Yeah, fuck it. As Ezra Miles Teller. <laughs> As Miles Teller. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people. Apparently, like at one point, it was gonna be the guy from the Aladdin movie. Uh, it's yeah. gonna be him. Is I that can right? see that definitely. I think. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't. That. I don't really. I haven't seen Rebels, so I mm. don't really care who they cast. To be honest. Yeah. Um, and there's this whole thing about Grand Admiral Thrawn. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people want Robert Downey Jr. Do they? Yeah. I actually haven't heard that. Yeah. I've heard it's mostly um, Lars Mikkelsen because he voiced Thrawn in Rebels. I know. Yeah. A lot of people say like he looks like him in real life, so it's like, bro, get him, get him in. Yeah, and if I could pick, it would be Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you know. Yeah, um, there's a lot of um, interesting uh, different uh, Star Wars animated characters that haven't been, uh, I suppose, like, used yet in the new stuff yeah, that they see, will uh, bring. I'd like. I, I, I think I think it'd be cool to see Tamara Morrison as uh, Captain Rex in a thing. Oh, that'd be so awesome! Yeah, I, I think I, I think they need to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I think that uh, as the kids say, go hard. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'd like to. I, I know how cheesy it is, but the world between worlds stuff I think is interesting. Um, I'd like to. I don't know. I'd like to see sequel character. Anyway, this is like a whole yeah. pitch for Star Wars, but yeah. you know, I I don't know. I think they should go more into the mythical side, and yeah. the fantasy side rather than. And I I think hopefully I think from what I think that is kind of what like Ahsoka is meant to be doing. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, because yeah, I I don't know. I'm not really. I didn't watch Andor because I had enough <laughs> of that kind of side. So I was yeah. like, yeah, no, I'm okay. But Mandalorian is a good mix for me. It has like yeah. a lot of different things some Boba Fett was just amazing I just love hmm. crime lords and that kind of thing I'm not really into the political side that Andor brought up but you know yeah sorry there's people getting killed sorry about that um so yeah any other 
Wow. Any other further Something thoughts? really funny must be happening next Yeah, door. I think they're laughing at our uh, podcast. Yeah, go on, Sean. What? Um, okay, uh, yeah, no, all that's very good. Uh, I think if they were ever to do, like, this is kind of, I mean, we don't even know if they're going to do this at some point, but, I mean, like, I'd say at some point maybe they probably will, but um, I think if they were ever going to do, like, Ahsoka, like, uh, in the sequel era, and then when she's older again, like, I think, like, Angela Bass would be good for uh, that time period, maybe, if they ever want to explore that. Yeah, I think yeah. that'd be a good choice for me, mm-hmm. personally. Um, yeah. Yeah, and also, um, as you know, they're also, like, bringing in a lot of um, characters from, like, what what is known as, quote-unquote, uh, the Legends. The Legends canon. They are? Yeah, like, that's, that's what, like, with Thrawn and everything, like, with Oh, the Lens yeah, stuff. was he? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, fair. and they've, like, made a... Uh, that's cool, yeah. They've made reference to, like, characters like Starkiller as well. Um, okay, cool. I've other ones in the, uh, deeper sort of things. But, yeah, I, um, I don't know how they do it, but... If somehow, like, they'd have to change her story a lot, but, like, if somehow they brought Mara Jade into the current canon, who would you cast for her? Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren. Or, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, uh, someone Mark and Bang. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, can I be Mara Jade then? <laughs> of course you can. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man, uh... Oh, it's really difficult. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I would say like, uh, what what kind of timeline though? Like, uh, where's where's it on the timeline? Uh, I'd say like probably after Return of the Jedi. Okay. Uh, like a, maybe a few years after. Yeah, it would be. Uh, the girl from Mortal Engines. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think she could be cool. I I, I want to see her more shit because she's cool. She was cool in Mortal Engines. Yeah, or uh, Catherine McNamara. Catherine McNamara. Because yeah, she's ginger and she's yeah skinny. So yeah, I I love ginger people. <laughs> or Karen Gillan. Oh no, <laughs> she she'd she'd be uh, Ventress. I think would be good. Oh, that yeah. actually yeah actually kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, who would you cast uh, as Mara Jade? As Mara Jade, um, it would there is it would have to be, of course, for my buddy the quartering out there. It'd be Brie Larson. It'd be Brie Larson as Mara oh, Jade. Cool, yeah. For my buddy the quartering. <laughs> It'd be Brie Larson. She'd show up and she'd say, "Yo, I'm Mara Jade." Deal and, with it. And the future is female. And then, like, the quarantine time, like, ooh, that Brie Larson. And whatever she shows up in would have to be directed by Ryan Johnson, you know? Mm-hmm. Just for, like, that extra, just for that extra No, it was, uh, what, what was it, uh, oh, God, what was, no, I can't remember what I was thinking of. Shit. It, it, it'll come back to me. Okay. Sorry, go on. So, yeah, um, Brie Larson sweep is the uh, general message of this, uh, of what I'm saying here. Um. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, I was, I was trying to get up. Uh, I sound like, uh, I don't know. There was like a screenshot. It looked like the quartering, but I can't find it now. Oh. So, I know it's like some random guy that was yeah. like I was scroll- scrolling down. I thought it was him, but it wasn't. Uh, yeah, no, it would be like it'd be great to like cast all these like. <laughs> you know what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna cast um, Tatiana Maslany from oh. She-Hulk in uh, Star Wars, just yeah. to kind of annoy people. But... Yeah, we. Uh... Yeah, no, I mean. But like, sh- to be fair, she's a really good actress. Yeah, exactly. So... Like they'd be annoyed. They literally they'd be annoyed a good actor is joining Star Wars. It's yeah. like, bro, there is there is nothing yeah. to be mad about there. Yeah. Oh yeah, going back to like X Men as well as Rogue, I would probably get Selena Gomez. I think she'd be cool. But yeah, Selena Gomez. Uh, I haven't seen Only Murders in the Building, so apparently I mean, that's very good. But apparently it's very good, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume she's been doing, getting up some good stuff here. I mean, you know, yeah. I I grew up definitely like with Wizards of Waverly Place, so it's you know I always have a soft spot for Selena Gomez. Exactly. I love that show. It's yeah, so good. I did too. It no, I like, I still do. Like it's so good. Like, it was like you know for me it was like. It was like that, Kim Possible, Recess, Phoenix of Fair Blue, and Stitcher. Like, 
for for a time that was like peak Disney Channel for me. Mm, my my one was uh, was just a Waverly Place. Obviously, the Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. Don't love that. Phineas and Ferb, yes. Um, but then I go to like Cartoon Network and Boomerang and oh, probably yeah, watch yeah. over there as well. But uh, yeah, Wizards and Good Luck Charlie as well. Oh, Good Luck Charlie. Love yeah. that. Love that. Yeah. That's so good. That was very good. Yeah, Bridget Mendel, I miss her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if they got Gina Carano as Wonder Woman. My God, I, see, I know that was like, wasn't that a thing people wanted at one point, like years ago, like before Gal Gadot even? Yeah. That'd be kind of crazy. It um, would be, she could still do it, but they won't let her do it, which is I, a shame. I but, feel like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like um, I actually do really like her. I think she's cool, but yeah. Mm, I yeah uh like if, <laughs> yeah I, I I think I think they would, I think coming like yeah I think I I think they would probably not do that. But, no, um, they they wouldn't do it now anyway. They wouldn't do it work. right now. No, I mean I feel like at one point you know I might have I might I might have been into that though. Okay. But like, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Against like yeah. Um, that's alright. That's alright. Yeah. But yeah uh. Is gonna say next. Kind of a shift in topic now, uh, to something quite different, but uh recently there has been a duology and soon to be a trilogy, uh, for the ages, something that will go down in history. Uh as I think an iconic trilogy again, that is the Sonic movies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sonic movies, uh yeah. there's been two of these now, and I think they're both back to back bangers. Okay. I'm uh looking forward to the third one next year uh, except for the wedding subplot that was terrible yeah yeah that was that was just that was, that was like that was just like not even a sonic movie for like 15 minutes it was yeah. very very confusing but otherwise banger stuff yeah yeah and uh as we all know i guess <laughs> spoilers for sonic 2 um shadow is back shadow is coming shadow is back coming back Yes. Shadow's here. Okay, yeah. Um, I suppose the question is, who would you cast as Shadow? As Shadow. I, uh, yeah, I've seen people suggesting um, Robert Pattinson. And I- oh! Yeah! Sorry. Well, I, like, really here. <laughs> I see people suggesting Robert Pattinson. It's like, at first I was like, ah, nah, nah, come on, come on. But then it's like, then I saw like some people making ads of it where they took like his like monologue from the Batman and they put it like over clips of like Shadow like just like looking just clips of like Shadow like looking out like in the distance from like the Shadow the Hedgehog game being all like serious and everything. It's like damn I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, this this does work. It's, it's not does. a signal. It's a warning. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It yeah. does work, yeah. Yeah. Um so yeah, I guess uh, for the time being, that's kind of that's kind of what I'm into now as uh, the Pattinson shadow. Yeah. Uh, speaking wave. of the Batman thing, I would get uh, Christian Bale as. Yeah, shadow. I saw I saw that too. Yeah. <laughs> his, oh, his the, the ending the ending speech of American Psycho over some Shadow the Hedgehog scenes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh no, his scenes from uh, Harsh Times. Did you ever see that movie? Oh, I I haven't actually. Yeah, and he's like screaming at the top of his lungs, "You fucking Batman, fucking Batman, fucking fuck, fuck!" and all that. Like, oh. what the fuck are you looking at? And he's like throwing like a a bottle at your man's car and shit. Yeah, it's like crazy stuff. Insane shit. So far from uh, our um fan topic of uh, little Charlie, but yeah. yeah. But that just goes to show his, his, diver- his yeah his how, diversity his in roles. Yeah, I didn't actually see um Amsterdam. Uh, Neither did I. Yeah, I just I heard a lot. I know. I'm sorry. I lied uh, to you people, but yeah, no, I was looking forward to it, and then uh, I had a friend who saw it, and then he was like, "It was boring." Shout out to Kian. He's great. Yo, Kian. Yeah. Uh, I I've actually, never met him, but yeah, shout out. Yeah, shout out to you. Uh, I know he does listen in occasionally. So. Does he? Yeah, yeah. Wow. No, yeah. Uh, so hopefully he's listening yeah. to this. Uh, shout out to Reese as well, Ruby, mm-hmm. and all them. Sorry, you don't know them, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe one day you will. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to introduce you to people. Uh, I would get. Uh, get actually, him on the podcast. Yeah, I actually I think Kean has a really cool voice, so I think he really? should play Shadow. Okay. 
Maybe he has. He hasn't told oh, us. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I mean, like he's he's been out occasionally and he comes in late. Maybe he's just shooting. Who knows, who knows what he's doing out there? Yeah, maybe he's at home like doing the voices and stuff. Oh, oh my God! I just realized. Oh, sorry. Um, so we have this guy called Keelan as well. Ke- shout out to Keelan. I mean, like he does like voiceovers and stuff. Maybe he's voicing Shadow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Anyway, I, that's that's yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know who else I would get. Uh, yeah, um, someone brooding, which I mean, you know, both. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, it's it's a warning. It's not it's it's not a, a signal. It's a, a warning. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, I've seen that happening. I think going off what they did with uh so- with Sonic 2 where it's like the end of Sonic 1 they set up Tails and yeah. then the next movie it's like Tails and Knuckles I yeah. think similarly I think they're going to set up Shadow here and then like in the third movie they're going to introduce both Shadow and Amy as more of a surprise later on Ooh, yeah I don't play Amy I mean like, like going off like going off the uh I mean like if we're going off Sonic 2 again like it'd probably be like Shadow maybe would have like uh, some like new celebrity voice actor and like Amy would have her original voice actor so that's uh, maybe also what's gonna happen there uh, or they could get Amy Adams Amy Adams she voices uh, pure poly purebred that is the most iconic